Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, we have a Duna Cargo SSTO that is going to be going to, you guessed it, Duna, and delivering a rover there that just circled a second ago in that cargo bay. Um, we're actually not just going to be delivering, we're going to be taking it there and back, so that'll be some good fun, just firing up those rapiers now, and sticky keys, sticky keys. Alright, yeah, let's get on, let's get on our way here. So, time lapse is on. And we can start a barreling down this runway. Unfortunately, we can't really take off until we get to the end of the runway and fall off, but eh, who cares? So, um, just like with most SSTOs, this guy is going to be accelerating to about 450 meters a second initially. Uh, because I have a pretty good thrust rate ratio, I can pitch to about, it's about uh, 12 degrees nose up initially, we're probably closer to 10 right away. Then we can just slowly accelerate. I want to climb. I both want to speed up and climb because this bottom part of the atmosphere is very dense and therefore creates a lot of drag. So, ideally, uh, the most efficient part of the flight is between 10 to 20 kilometers um, when the air resistance also is uh, both, you know, it doesn't create that much drag, but it also is enough to power the, uh, the rapiers through a lot of thrust. So, I'm trying to both accelerate to 450 as quick as possible and get up to that 10 kilometer altitude as quickly as possible. So, that's just, that's kind of how I fly my SSTOs. Some of the bigger ones are lower thrust rate ratios. You have to stay a little bit lower to the surface and accelerate, but for this one, we can get up there nice and quickly. So, across 10 kilometers now, I'm just pitching forward a little bit, or I did a few seconds ago. Just so we can get as much speed as possible. And then when we cross 20 kilometers, I'm going to fire up our four nuclear engines that are going to get us on our way out to do now. Uh, just a little bit of overheating going on here. I totally don't explode my solar panels here in a few seconds. That, that definitely doesn't happen. But uh, as we just watched that definitely not happen, uh, we are going to, there you go, the nuclears, and we're just going to try and get to about maybe 15, 1600 meters a second before we fire up our closed cycle mode in which we turn on the rocket mode of the rapiers and we get ourselves into a low Earth or low carbon orbit. Yeah, there they go. That, yeah. Oh, well. Low carbon orbit, and then we'll circularize around carbon and get our way out to Duna. Uh, I try and have an emphasis or a focal point of most of my videos. Um, at least that's what I'm doing for the last maybe week or so. Uh, and I I think, for for this video, the focal point is going to be like the surface activity. Getting the, the rover out and driving it around. And landing and all that kind of fun stuff on Duna. So, um, for that reason, I'm going to try and cut out most of the interplanetary stuff. Like, you know, maybe some of the missions I'll focus on some more of the burns or the correction burns. or And that is totally not a very cluttered LKO. Just nothing to see there, folks. So, um, for some missions I might do that, you know, for some missions I might focus on maybe the launch or the takeoff or something along those lines, but I try and keep my video, I think it's a good idea to keep them focused so you guys, you know, you're here for a reason and, you know, it's cohesive. Uh, so, yeah, for that reason, we're going to be cutting out a lot of the interplanetary stuff. If you want to see, like, interplanetary stuff, tons of other videos with it. Um, so, I'm just going to do our circularization burn and then we'll cross fade to us arriving at Duna. Uh, so we can do our surface activity. Uh, if you're unaware, um, this is, uh, you probably are unaware because this is uh, this is only part two, but this is technically a mini-series that I'm starting. Oh, uh, there's actually only going to be three parts, but, you know, a mini-series, right, guys? Uh, it's going to be called uh, Campaign Stops. Uh, the first episode was the New Glen Recreation, which I will hopefully remember to link up top. Um, so basically, if you also, even, again, if you're promoting a bunch of series here guys but uh, if you don't know I'm doing I have a, I have a colonization series called make Drez a great again um, it is uh, you know we, we need to endeavor Drez has been neglected it's been forgotten so we need to we need to make it great again make some good good deals and you gotta reinvigorate the 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 Drez love so it's a colonization series it's quite similar to Matt Lowne's life on Lather, but you know it's a little it's a little bit more I don't know I don't want to say unique his mind mainly focuses on like exploring the area. Uh, mine is more like setting up a permanent colony. So it's like we're gonna have a hotel, we're gonna have like a spaceport. We already have like a surface base. It's like a mining base. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be huge. Um, so uh, what we need to do is you know we have to get we have to get Bill. You know we need to get Jeb and Bill elected um, so they can make Dres great again. So um, these campaign stop videos. Um, and here we go, almost running into a mountain. That's, you know, totally normal. Um, we're going to be sending out some craft to other areas and try and raise support for Jeb and Bill uh, so they can get, you know, elected. So in the last uh, episode, we went to Minmus. This is a once-a-week thing I try and do. And we, we campaigned in Minmus. 
Unfortunately, none of the Min 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 Mai Min Mai Min Mai uh, were around, so we just planted a flag and left. But hopefully, there'll be some do nights around today, and maybe we'll do some um, campaigning with Doggy and Carvey Kerman. <laughs> I tried to bring the most ridiculous like Doggy Kerman. Like, what are the odds? That's that's one of my new favorite Kerb. My new my favorite Kerbal is Kerbal's Kerman. Aside from the orange suits, but I have a guy called Kerbal's Kerman. He'll have to show up soon. I'm pretty happy about that guy. And Carvey Kerman. She's pretty cool, too. And um, Forrod Kerman. It's like forehead, but it's like a moron and a forehead com com combined. And it's cool. Unfortunately, um, we're going to start talking about the video again. Um, we're going to be doing our landing in the night side uh, of the planet, unfortunately. So, um... I'm, I was looking at my last video that I did, uh, which at the time of the release, this would have been the uh, the surface base, the Dread surface base. Uh, there was a lot of lag, or not a lag, but um, the, the YouTube's algorithm, its compression algorithm, destroyed the quality of my video at night. I don't know if that's what my monitor was, or I didn't have the quality settings turned up or something, but it looked awful, the launch. I did my launch at night, and it just looked super pixelated and bad. So, um, hopefully that's not the case for this one. We'll see, you know, sorry if you're looking at a blurry mess. But, um, we're coming up on our landing now. So, originally I plan on landing it, like, pull parachutes last second, you know, nice and slow. We, we touch down nice and smoothly at, like, 50 meters a second. It's amazing, but I tried that for, like, an hour. It didn't work. I don't know how, like, people, like, do Dune SSTOs like that, land them like planes. But um, I just eventually said screw it, and I had a little bit of I have some oxidizer left, so I decided to pump my fuel to the back, point retrograde, and then just use um, engines to burn the last uh, last about 150 meters a second. So just firing up the rapiers in close cycle mode, doing a nice little suicide burn, and then bringing it down right on the money. Um, that I don't really like that target thing. The, you know, the main reason I had it on is just because it was so dark. I couldn't even barely kind of get good depth perception because there were no shadows. So I just that kind of served as a, you know, this is where the ground is kind of marker. And now we have landed, but now we're kind of stuck vertically. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do about this? We're kind of, you know, I got to get my rover. We got to do, we got to do our campaigning. So like, what are what are we going to do about that? And so I just decided to fire the engines a little bit. And hopefully I can. Use that to give me enough authority to get the nose down. And that is, in fact, what happens. And I have some Werner engines up top um, by the nose so they can help uh, the nose come down nice and slowly. Um, and then we're going to just do get the rover out and do some uh, surface activities. And while that's happening, um, I just want to say I would like to thank you guys very much for the channel. Like, I didn't upload one day, and I still got, like, something crazy, like 16 subs so and, like, 700 views or something. You, got, you guys are nuts, so... I do appreciate it very, very much. Um, if you're not subscribed, um, you know, feel free to. It's an option. I just, you know, I'm going to keep the, the self-promo to a minimum. Thank you, guys. You guys are epic. I also have Discord, so if anyone's interested in the Discord, um, I'm starting a new challenge thing on the Discord. Um, I'll talk about that later because, um, you know, you guys want it. You're here for the video. You're not here for me talking about my Discord server, but pin, pin comment in the, d d below. Uh, so just opening up the cargo bay uh, to expose the rover, which is one of my favorite rovers. I've been making a lot of rovers recently. Yeah. Well, we'll do something. Well, you know, we haven't done SSTLs in a while, so. There we go. Just uh, detaching the rover, dropping it down, and then we're going to EVA uh, Forrod and Carvey Kerman, I believe. And then they're just going to do some driving around, see if they can find any do nights to campaign with because they got to promote the cause they got to make dreads great again get they, you know they're in, very influential to the election campaign so just closing that the kerbal's heads kind of look like they got sliced off there but that's not important and then we can just go ahead and drive off and it looks like unfortunately fortunately guys duna duna just just has a, a lot of rocks there are there are the there are no the two nights don't seem to be around. Um, we looked we looked for a solid thirty seconds and I didn't see any do nights. Um, so and I did flip over and completely eject my kerbals. So uh, I did put a reaction wheel on the bottom of the rover so I could actually like flip over and you know in case I needed to. I could have probably designed the rover so it didn't flip over like mess with traction control and spring strength and all that nonsense, but. I am too cool to do that. I just flip over and knock all my kerbals out. And now forehead, forehead, foron, fordod, whatever this guy is going to be running after the, the rover because it's kind of running away and Carvey is not waiting for him. And now they're just going to come back to the uh, craft because all they found is rocks and rocks are boring and they want to get back to Kerbin. 
because they were eating a sandwich and they never got to finish it. So, um, just going to maneuver ourselves below the cartlets. You know, this is like a five-year, three-year mission, I think it ended up being. So, I think their their sandwich is sufficiently moldy by now. Um, so, now we're just going to get the uh, buggy or the rover redocked. It probably is more of a buggy. Uh, redocked with the... Uh, with the ship, I could have actually brought another three Kerbals out. Uh, there's like a little table and chairs with a little make sure it's great again flag on the top. This is my table. Um, and there it is kind of freaking out as I attach it. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, I think the Kerbals would have like ex hit their heads. Or their, their heads would have been glitched. Or just their heads would have been through the top of it. Had um, top of my little ceiling there. I always underestimate how big Kerbals are. But either way, I'm just going to do a very janky repacking maneuver. Thankfully, uh, same vessel interaction was off, so nothing happens when I accidentally clip the uh, one of the wheels into the side of the cargo bay because of my horrible lining up I did. But either way, we made it. It is lined up, and then we can um, just go ahead and close the cargo bay here in a second, and then I believe 4-odd Kerman is going to... Uh, Gonna go ahead and plant plant a flag. Just so if any do knights show up, they will they will be aware of the of who 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 they should vote for on November third, guys. Remember, vote Jeb twenty twenty, guys. That's just, that that that's the guy. He's the man. Gonna make dress great again. Okay, so just gonna read uh, get the Kerbals back in, and then we can just wait for a transfer window, which I will just magically. You guys don't have to wait for through the you know magic of crossfades, and then I'm gonna use some of the remaining oxidizer I have to get myself back into the air. Kind of fortunate that we kind of had a ramp right by where we we kind of landed on a ramp or a hill that kind of acted as a ramp. So that's pretty cool. So now just uh, using those nuclears to burn. I do use do uh, my kind of a you know, my last few hundred meters a second with the oxidizer mode. Uh, just because these things have horrible thruster issue. Like, I am pointing straight up, and my time to wrap up is still decreasing. But, oh, well, what what can you do, mate? I'm not going to do that again. Uh, so, then we're going to get into orbit, and then we'll plan our burnout to Kerbin. Uh, and then we'll be uh, done with the mission, guys. Um, it's going to be great. Um, I'll use this opportunity while we're doing the boring stuff to talk about uh, the Discord challenges. So, these are going to be kind of similar to the... Uh, old Reddit challenges, you know what they are. They might still be. I don't know if there's someone doing them now. Or, I think it's just mainly... There used to be an official Reddit challenge um, where um, members of the community could, like, participate in a challenge or do something. That's kind of... That's actually how Matt Lowne got his start on YouTube. Um, or that's... Yeah. Um, doing Reddit challenges. Um, so I thought we might, we might bring that back, kind of, in, in my Discord server. And once a week, do a challenge. It'll run from... I'll introduce it in Saturday's video. I also have an announcement on the Discord. And then everyone will have until Friday night to um, basically a week, maybe a little less, like a few hours less, because it will be due on Saturday, so Saturday at you know, midnight, or Friday at midnight. Uh, so everyone will be able to submit their craft if they want to, or if they don't, which, you know, they probably won't because I'm, I'm a pretty lame person. Then I will... Uh, have a look at the craft, and then on uh, look at look at the craft on Saturday, and then on Sundays a video, I will announce the winner. Uh, probably at the beginning or the end of the video, sometime around there, I'll mention it, and it'll be great fun. I don't have anything to give to the winner, you know. I'm you know I'm not Bill Gates, guys. Maybe I'll give you a pencil. Although I don't think don't think you guys would want to go through the trouble of like trying to figure out how to ship a pencil. But if here. Here's the deal. If someone really, really wants a pencil and they win the challenge, I will find a way to give you a pencil. That That's the deal. Uh, but, yeah, if you're interested, Discord in the link. It's actually great. We have quite a few people who are active, so it's actually, you know, good fun to kind of talk to people and do all that stuff, and it's, it's quite fun. So... Uh, just doing our re-entry now into Kerbin. Uh, just take a few passes and a few, like, really weird going in circles trying not to explode passes. Uh, I do drop the landing gear. The landing gear are great. Like, you don't really need air brakes. Just use landing gear. <laughs> I mean, they probably don't have as much drag as air brakes, but they have an insane amount of heat tolerance. It is absolutely nuts. Like, there is no drawback. If you want, if you're trying to get slowed down, drop the landing gear. Pro tip, guys. Don't, if you're in a real plane, don't do that. That then, then you, 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 this isn't real life. And I totally didn't turn on infinite electricity because of my lack of solar panels. The rover actually does have a uh, fuel cell, so I could have just used that. But I'm too good to do that, obviously, guys. I, 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 I don't know why I didn't do it. I probably just forgot. But either way, 
Coming in now, doing another air brake pass. I believe there's one more pass, uh, and then that will be that will be our landing coming up here in a few seconds. Lane doesn't really go to plan, but you know what does go to plan in my videos. <laughs> um, as you guys know, I'm a very high quality YouTuber. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys though for the subs, by the way. Like, you guys are pretty nuts. Coming in now uh, through the. Uh, the final pass now just dropping about below 50 kilometers right about now starting to get some of that heating i believe i have their gear retracted because i'm trying to get as far as possible it doesn't end wind up working but and then the thing starts to kind of lose some stability and kind of it has a mental breakdown right here and i i had been trying to do this for so long this mission took way longer than i expected and i was just kind of done with it so i just said eh we have some parachutes on why not these were those were intended to be used for our duna landing but that clearly didn't go to plan so they got used for this landing so parachutes come out i don't know why this thing even needed to be a plane it did like zero plane like features except it did take off like a plane but that's about it. it didn't land like a plane either time i don't know my planes are not planes my planes are bad <laughs> um but you know ssd it's technically ssdo no no staging although something definitely does blow up on this landing because we're coming a little fast because those parachutes are not meant to be used for carbon yeah we lose but the point is they're, they're all intact so you can we can all we can just grab them on bring them fish them up um but you know the kerbals were anxious we weren't going to mess around with any sort of weird landing or try and do any sort of meh. you know what? yeah that's it Hopefully I have some cards linked right here, guys, so you can see if you want to click on any of the videos, get that viewer retention or whatever, click whatever, whatever, whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. So I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to the video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.